now in the retro room mm -hmm. and this week uh, we got some guests I think who's, who's did you call them? I didn't call anybody no oh. uh, I could probably call them now now I'm hungry for a muffin uh, we got oh Minnow we got Minnow Minnow showing up Minnow's um, coming by Minnow he cooks he cooks sorry you guys haven't been explaining that yet. Minnow cooks. Minnow cooks. Um, and we learn when he does cook. My name's Minnow, and uh, well, welcome to the show. This here is uh, country cooking, it's what we call it, and today we're gonna learn how to make some quail. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, oh look at this, we got some nice beautiful quail eggs here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pour these inside here. Okay, oh, we don't wanna, what we wanna avoid is that they stay in the same pan. We want them each in their own separate pockets here in the pan. Woo! And uh, now, I'm going to have a drink. Yeah, well, that was my oven timer. Okay, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to go check on the quail now. Woo, she's hot. Woo, she's hot. Okay. And as you can see, we're not quite done. The quail's not quite ready yet. But we've got, uh, we're about halfway. I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys back in the oven. Now remember, it's 847 degrees Celsius. Okay? Yeah, see what I tell you. So, by now, you're probably wondering, you know, how did I get that cage in there? And, and well, what happens is, uh... <laughs> tell you, man, that beaver's been been haunting me for the past five, six days. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yes, of course. We're having a drink. Next week, come back country cooking. Please hang up and try again. Yeah, I think it's going pretty good. Yeah, no, I think it will be. We got, yeah, we got uh, some segments from the chins later. They got something to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. The chins, chins, chins. Oh, God. Chuck the snowman, everybody. <laughs> hey, kids, do you like snow? It's snowing over here! It's snowing over here! I love snow! You can build anything! If somebody could build me a chair, that'd be great. The old sciatica's acting up again. Hey kids! Joke break! What do you think snowmen eat for lunch? Icebergers! No! Joke break! How did the snowman get to work? By icicle! you guys this week on the space online show we have Benji Rothman swell guy, swell guy. he is swell yeah um, we got space some space facts later to share with you stick around for that so that's really interesting and tell you about how how time travel works and stuff like that so I've time traveled like actually I went back 
and made that take longer and made it look like it was harder to say. But I was actually, I time traveled and made that happen, believe it or not. You know what you should do next time is time travel in the future and just like prepare your skit. All right, we have on the show today, Mr. Benji Rothman. What do you think about the couch? I like it. Uh, it's got some vintage to it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's soft. It, it's cleaner than I thought. It's cleaner than most of the things in here. Uh, I'm Benji Rothman, uh, local and international comedian. I'm local, mostly local. Oh, I like comics. Sure. I, I like to laugh, they say. Sure. That's what they say all the time, and then they, where do they go? Sure. So they can go to, uh, there's some great weekly comedy shows here. Jekyll and Hyde's every Wednesday. You know, that show is usually 9 o'clock on Wednesdays. Every Thursday at the Handsome Daughter. Mm -hmm. That's your West Broadway, your, uh, your Wolseley. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's an 8 o'clock show every Thursday. Uh, we can make it. You guys are available? Yeah, we can make it. Okay, cool. You guys should come to that one. Yeah. Yeah. We don't actually have a daughter. But... Yeah. Well, right. not that we we'll know of. And yeah, keep posted. You find me on Facebook and say, "Hey, Benj, when are you? When's the next good show?" And there's usually some hot, some hot, hot shows going down. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Like, I, yeah, I like it here, but I'm. If this is just a big ploy to, I don't know, like just get me down here and murder me and then harvest my organs, you guys are doing a good job. <laughs> So questions, questions. Um, got a few. Sure. Yep. Um, who's the least funny person you know? My grandpa. He's uh, he's dead. So. Would you like a cup of water? Oh yes. Me, Thanks yeah. so much. It's good. It's uh, it's, it's great. Filtered. It is water, uh, which surprised. Hundred percent water. Lovely <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Okay. <laughs> That earthquake made me really thirsty. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Kind of. I mean, we have food. She's. Oh, there she, there she goes. Right. So we got a special feast prepared for you. Thanks, Brenda. With Caesar. Don't mind if I do, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda. I'm still kind of hungry, though. Yeah. What is your nationality, sir? A little bit. Okay, and now I'm frightened. <laughs> this guy looks like everything that my bubby would be afraid of. Okay. Um, uh, elephants menstruate? They do? Yeah. Well, they guess they must. Yeah, they must, yeah. Which is a fact. Right? Yeah. What about, oh no, that's a hot dog phone. Yeah. Hello? Really? Yeah, no, he's here right now. In review, he's accepting phone yeah. calls. And he's the host. I'm not. You're not the host. Yeah, he's here right now. You want to talk to him? Hello? Oh, okay. All right, I'll let him know. Thank you, bye-bye. Yeah, it was a Richter scale 6.7. Oh, perfect. You were right. Okay, right on. You were right. Oh, and also he said you have, uh, you have herpes. Oh. That actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> no, it's mystery solved. Yeah, mystery solved. Yeah, thanks again, caller. Yeah. Thank you. 404 Shout out to Squadron 402. Till we die. Yeah. It's nice. It's a good table.
Ting. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah well. Now I'm comfortable. So, um, let's see. Comedy, you do that. You do that. Yeah, yeah, I do that. Not really in a jokey mood. So, I've actually seen you at comedy clubs in the city. Cool. In Winnipeg. Uh, thanks for coming Shout out. Shout out to Winnipeg and all the people telling jokes on stage. Tell me about the scene. It's exploding, isn't it? It's really, really exploding. Just... Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's doing that. Do you like space? Can I swear? You can swear, yeah. We can probably bleep you out, though. Yeah, we'll bleep okay. you out. <laughs> it's the fucking best. That was a good one? Good beat. Right. Yeah. I love the Cosmos. Okay, yes. Yeah. Great show. There's a show? Yeah, there's a show called The Cosmos. Yeah. It's not funny. Okay. I think you're thinking of the Cosbys. Boop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have chips now. Do you mind? Yeah, we're all, you know, I'm still hungry. Do we have, uh, we still have some more food there? Hey. Uh, no. Still not gonna eat it? It is. Yeah. Really just, yeah. Like, watching people eat is my worst nightmare. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wash my hands. Please. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming down to the space. And uh, talking about the Winnipeg comedy scene. Everybody get out there and uh, stretch your stuff. Check out some comedy. Please do. It's been a wonderful night. We'll see you next week. YouTube and... Uh, uh, yeah. You can, you can go now. I can go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just leave the chips there. Yeah, that's... Hi, Benji. Hi. Benji Rothman. Oh god. Space Facts. Space Facts. The universe is 13.82 billion years old. Neat. And I'm wearing my space toque because it's so cold out here. Space fact, the largest star in the universe is currently being eaten by a black hole, so go check that out. That's, a, that's, that's kind of a scary one. Oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight. If two pieces of metal touch in space, they instantly weld together and become one, with no heat. So, that's cool. Look at that. Space lightning is a thing. There's like space storms, cl space clouds, electric fields. <laughs> <laughs>